Hey Naz, and welcome back to another Athlete of the Week video. I am so excited with, for today's guest. Um, Ella, as your teammate and as one of your biggest supporters, I'm so excited and honored to be conducting your interview today. Congratulations on your recent achievements. Um, and many congratulations to you on successfully earning 1,000 career assists. I'm sure the path to this accomplishment has had its hills and valleys. Can you tell me a little bit about the key moments or turning points for you in your career that were instrumental in shaping your approach to the game you play? Yeah, well, first of all, thank you. Um, I would say that moving from high school to college ball just in general was a huge transition for me because where I am from volleyball is not nearly as big as uh, like community as it is here in Rochester so that allowed me to grow in ways that I never thought imaginable yeah. and um, with Tara coming in that was also just like a huge transition moment for me as well just like difference of perspectives being able to value and think about both and being able to like take from those and move forward as well that was a big turning point. Um, and you mentioned a little bit about your relationship with head coach Tara Jalen, um, but as team captain, you work really closely with her, and she is in her second season with the women's volleyball team. What is your relationship with her like, and how would you describe the team's relationship to her as head coach? Well, as a captain and you know, just a member on the team in general, I would say that I, um, my relationship with her is pretty strong, just because she really values like the the feedback, the communication, mm -hmm. the checking in moments. Yeah. Um, and I think that just the what she brings to the program and kind of what the team also is like on board with as well as just pushing forward, mm -hmm. which I really value. Like I don't feel like there's any um, settling, whether it's like we're in a good moment and we're happy to stay here. It's always thinking about, okay, what can we do next? So I really do value that. Um, with the current gameplay design, you are the only setter on the court, meaning you work incredibly hard to push balls out to hitters that oftentimes depend on the quality of the pass. How do you balance the responsibility of setting up plays with the need to read and adapt to the opposing team's defense? Um, I would say that it's just a play-by-play -play scenario. Um, a lot of reflecting but not thinking too deeply about it because getting in your own head is definitely a thing. Um, so it's just taking what I have developed and like what I've been lucky enough to receive from my coaches and trying to integrate that as much as I can mm -hmm. and just keeping the calm aggressive mindset mm -hmm. and finally um, I asked this question in last week's interview and I feel it's only fitted to bring it back um, for your interview today you have beautifully led our team and the ladies around us on and off the court as a leader and as a friend and you have achieved so much as a senior here as, at NAS. What would you say to the little girl who was just learning how to play the sport that you've learned to love today? I would just say continue to put yourself in uncomfortable positions and scenarios. I feel like that's where the most growth happens in life and in sports as well. And so coming to college and playing ball was a really uncomfortable thing for me and it allowed me to blossom in ways I never imagined. And so just continuing to allow yourself to play with people that challenge you. Um, I would encourage her to do that. Thank you, Ella, for joining us today. Thank you for your guidance as our team captain. And thank you, Naz, for tuning in. We'll see you in our next episode.